For years, magic mushrooms and other psychedelics have been considered taboo, but now even the federal government is taking a closer look, sponsoring a new study. The National Institutes of Health setting aside $4 million to see whether psilocybin, the hallucinogenic compound found in magic mushrooms, can help smokers kick the habit. The most recent numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show more than 30, many, 30 million people in the U.S. smoke cigarettes. A lot of them want to quit. Uh, Dr. Matthew Johnson, psychiatry and behavioral science as professor at John Hopkins University's School of Medicine is uh, joining us right now live from Baltimore. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is an interesting story. Uh, you are a psychedelic researcher and you're leading Correct. the effort. How much interest are you getting in people who want to participate in a study like this? A good amount of interest and that interest has been really ramping up over the last especially like three or four years there's just you know i've been doing this research almost 20 years but the public interest has really shot through the roof in the last couple of years john hopkins scientists they are also joined by nyu scientists and the university of alabama is also getting on board so what are this what is the significance of these particular institutions being involved well these are these are great colleagues who like myself who have been conducting psilocybin research that's the, the the drug in magic mushrooms the psychedelic at, at new york university for alcohol use disorder and at university of alabama birmingham for out for uh, cocaine use disorder so they've been studying it in the treatment of addiction i've been studying it in the treatment of tobacco addiction so they have substantial expertise in this area as well the cdc says fewer than one in ten smokers who attempt to quit actually do so can you share with us how silo is it psilocybin i'm saying it right yes yeah? psilocybin is yeah, able to psilocybin, change psilocybin 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 yeah, the birds say sure. psilocybin so it, yeah. it's not wrong <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm saying it like a brit um is right, it correct how does that drug change the desire to pick up a pack of cigarettes we're still figuring that out but we have some clues we certainly know the drug radically alters one's subjective experience. You can call that a trip, a psychedelic experience. But the best evidence we have is that what occurs during that, that, that experience, particularly when people have a report that they have uh, uh, feelings of oneness, feeling at one with the rest of the universe, one with the rest of humanity, feeling like they've gone beyond time and space, a so-called mystical experience, People who have an experience that's more that is more like that are more likely to show positive behavioral benefits, including um, successfully quitting smoking six months a year later. Um, so we know that there's something about the experience. And to be clear, they're only getting the the psychedelic drug one, two, or three times, depending on our the particular studies that we've done. So it's about having an experience that one learns from and can say, "Hey, I went through this experience." this and that happened to me, it tends to change the way someone views themselves and their struggle with smoking. And they're coming out of it talking more like they've learned something from a psychotherapy. Okay. So Doctor. it works a little more like that than your traditional psychiatric medication. Okay. And, and again, I think a lot of people are going to be curious about this study, whether or not they agree, uh, but very fascinating. Dr. Matthew Johnson, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.